If he pulls away, this is the way to make him stay. You can have him stay. You can have what you want with your man. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It is simple, very simple, but it is not easy. I want to give you all that you need to do step by step if your man is pulling away because it's going to be during this time that you feel him pulling away, that you sense it, that you have the best chance in utilizing this method and approach to keep him feeling what he needs to feel and going through what he needs to go through so that he will stay and you will have the ending that you want. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker, and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I help you find or reunite with a man you truly desire. Inspire his continued interest to create the relationship of your dreams so you receive the complete commitment you totally deserve. So let's get into it today. If your man is pulling away what you can do, totally in your control, to have him staying and to have him wanting you even more in a bigger way and really create the relationship that you're dreaming about. You can have this, but again, honesty, it is not easy although it is totally simple. And I'm gonna give you some background so that you understand how I developed my lure him back approach. You can do this because of male psychology. It really comes down to that because it's typically not about his love for you. In my work, I have seen that there is great love from the man most typically, but he doesn't have the bandwidth that you as a woman do to sustain drama in a relationship, problems in a relationship, things he doesn't understand in a relationship. He is not female, so he doesn't understand or conceptualize things in the way that you do. He also doesn't feel things exactly the same way that you do. And if you understand his psychology, you will win. This is key. You know, I was listening to a podcast Lewis Howes, who's a famous podcaster, had a guest on his show who who has his own podcast. I don't remember the name of it, but he was talking about his episode whereby he was talking to a female Russian spy. And I really wanted to share this with you because it's so indicative of everything we do here. And it really does confirm in a way from the male perspective what we are talking about that is a fundamental of the male-female experience and why you can have him in a state of wanting to be with you and not pulling away. Or even if he is pulling away, you can have him stay. Okay, so what is that that the Russian female spies have been taught by males who need to get state secrets from the other side? The fundamental first tenet was that the target, the male target, that the female spy was targeting must come to her. Think about that. So these are spy people, spy agencies, they know that the way you have a man under your control, so to speak, is by that man coming to you as the female in the equation. It's their fundamental tenant. So you're going to think, well, what does this have to do with, I'm already in a relationship with him. I want him to stay and I feel him pulling away. It's the same concept. You're going to find this very difficult to do. As I said, it's not easy. But if you do it, I can almost guarantee that you will have a chance to have this relationship the way that you want it. I have done this with hundreds and hundreds of women 
if I were working with men, I wouldn't be giving the coaching and advice that I do because we are night and day, sun and rain, on and off, stop or go, opposites, male and female. Doesn't mean we're not equal, means we're opposite. So we must do what is against our feeling as the female in the equation and what we would want and do what the man wants because he's the one pulling away and you want him. So you need to use the psychology related to what will have him rethinking, feeling something else, and really understanding that, my goodness, maybe I have something here that I don't want to lose. And what is that? Since you stayed, you're going to get it all. (laughs) You are going to understand this approach. What you must immediately do is going to be against, most typically, what you feel and what you feel compelled to do. And that is to reach out to him, to want to talk about him pulling away, to want to talk about the relationship, to communicate about it. This is a word that I hear all the time in the realm of helping people in relationships. Sit down with him, face it, communicate about it. I have to tell you, as a coach for women, helping women to get their men to come to them and be most open to then discuss if it's needed, that the number one problem is the woman approaching the man wanting to talk about it. You've seen a lot of my videos here. I say all the time, women talk to their men and talk them right out the door because men relate via action. Women relate via verbalization. It's one of the number one tenants in my book. It is a gender gap I have in my book. And if you haven't gotten the book, please get it because you need these five gender gaps. Most importantly, that women relate via verbalization, men relate via action. They do not want to talk about the relationship. They want to have it. And if he's pulling away, he's feeling something that he doesn't want to feel. Yes, maybe he is pulled by somebody else. But if you stay in your lane and you relate in a way that gets him wondering, another one of my gender gaps is women love through knowing, men love through wondering. He's going to expect that you are going to reach out to him, try to get his attention, want to talk about the relationship. It's going to take everything you have in you not to do that. And you're going to say, well, Paula, if I do that, he'll just go away. He won't interact with me. I won't know what's going on. For time, you are probably right. Mm -hmm. It's a test because if you can let him do that, he will start wondering. When he wonders, he's actively engaged in feelings about you. And that is when he will come to you. You must use the psychology of the spy. Think of it in terms of the animal kingdom. There are the pursuers or the hunters, and there are the prey. And the hunters actually have a bit about them that is the thrill of the chase. I know many of you are going to immediately push back on this because it doesn't fit what feels good to you, what you want to do, what you are almost compelled to do. I get it. I get that anxiety. But if you don't quell it, you are doing the very thing that feeds into the reason why he's pulled away. He has pulled away because he feels that energy coming towards him. This is just male and female. If you get this, you get everything. And again, so hard to institute and implement. It's why I do what I do. It's why I work with women in my Lure Him Back program. And I work with them, talking to them weekly. In most all cases, more than once a week. Because I know how important it is to keep you on track. And I have helped so many women get their men back, back better, and back connected 
to them in a way that feels good for the long run. If you want him to text you tonight, maybe you can get that by texting frantically and badgering or calling or going to him or whatever. Yeah, maybe you can. You're gonna lose in the long run. I'm telling you, you're going to lose in the long run. Probably somewhere, if you're watching this video, you know that, but this is hard. Anything worthwhile is seriously challenging. This is, but the challenge is only with you. And I can help you if you need it and you can do it, then let's talk. There's all manner of ways that you can talk to me. I run the gamut of what is expensive and not expensive so that you can talk to me. And there is virtually a way for free and that is on the podcast, Make Him Wonder. You may have heard episodes of Make Him Wonder. 95% of my guests are women who come to me anonymously and tell their stories bare all so that I can help them back with their men, stay on course with their men, do what we are talking about here. This cannot be a short-term game. You must think of the old story of the tortoise, the turtle, and the hare, the rabbit. Slow and steady is going to win things for you and get you what you want. I am all about you having that relationship that you desire. You deserve it, but you must do what is needed because there are two people in this relationship. He must get his needs met as well. You have to get them met, but you have to be smart about getting it. It is not just being who you are in terms of letting it all hang out and spewing out what you think and feel because there is no mystery in it. And that doesn't allow for him to come to you. Think about what I'm telling you here. There's likely a deep place in your knowing that has experienced what I'm telling you. It's not fair. It feels awful. Why shouldn't we just be able to do what we feel and say what we feel and have that man understand it, get it, and be engaged with us through the verbalization and the conversation? Well, if it worked, I wouldn't be in business. I wouldn't because women do this naturally, but there is an art to it like those female spies know. And you may think, well, that's manipulation. Well, it's not manipulation. It is using what comes naturally to men to their advantage. Yes, in the case of the spy, okay, I get that. But you see, you can use it in the realm of getting you and your man what you want. You know you're right for him. You know that the two of you should be together and that if you can just work this out, whatever it is, you're gonna be fine and it's gonna be the good relationship for both of you. I agree with you because you live in that knowing. But if you can't get him to join you in that, you don't have a hope in hell of doing it. So we have to get him to join you in that in the way that he as a male will join you in it. This is why we have to use the psychology of males. And when we do, we win. It is the long game. Yes, you are gonna feel anxiety ridden while he's not in touch with you to whatever degree that is. You're gonna to wanna to find out because women wanna know, right? We just do. You have to show that restraint so that you can win. He will be wondering on his end and he will be coming back. There's a lot more to this, of course, than I can get to in one video. It's an entire course I have for women and I work with women to do this because you need some help and some handholding because it's very, very difficult. And most all of your friends or family members are going to say, just call him. Just text him. Just get him to talk to you. No worse advice than that. Quite frankly, it's what you'll hear from most and especially well-meaning friends who love you. They want to get you out of the feelings you're in. I want you to win what you want so that you feel good over the long run and hopefully forever with this man. So take heed here. Watch these videos. Continue to listen learn and level up. Check the comments below. Give this video a like. 
and hit that red alert bell along with the subscribe button for more of these videos. Check out my website, coachpaulagrooms.com, and I will see you next time.